ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ದಿಂಬಿದ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಕರ್ಣೇಶು ಅಟತಿ ಇತಿ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ದಿ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ಎನಿ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ Carnatic music is completely a distinct sound in terms of the way the melody moves uh, the way the melody has an identity when it moves the very core for uh, classical music is the raga and uh, we see it is actually the evolution of our music is the evolution of the uh, raga sense first raga is not a vague idea it's a very definitive idea but it is not an, it is not an idea that is constructed out of logic or rationality and every raga has a mood it has a certain format of course a uh, uh, a kind of a shall we say a swarupa for every raga there is a jiva swara there are jiva swaras i would say and you have to touch on them you have to dwell on them and you have to know what is right in a raga to hold the note or to uh, sometimes you know uh, like um tarara na 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 it's kalyani okay immediately you know na 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 this is rishabha priya <laughs> father of carnatic music purendra dasa who belongs to the 15th century so i should say the carnatic music itself took a definite shape during his period after that comes the golden period during the 18th century when we have the trinity composers saint tyagaraja muthuswami dikshitar and shyama sastri the krutis and kirtanas the compositions started very seriously from the trinity period any carnatic music performance is sent is centered on one compositional form which is the kirtana or kriti as referred to all comp- all concerts will predominantly have a lot of kirtanas every inch of the carnatic music uh, format has a scope for improvisation the alapana take the alapana improvisation can mean actual de- demonstration improvisation can be there in the thought process our sangeet shastra has uh, listed 108 talas it's quite a, a challenging uh, uh, number but then uh, the talas in vogue are maybe much fewer we have uh, mishra chap mishram khantam sankirnam triputa talam and adi tala is the most common tala 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and of course rupakam then mishra chapu takkitta takka dimmi and then we have takka takkitta which is khanta chapu or jampa tala beauty of the mridanga is that and how you have always said that bardha said that the most what do you call flexible instrument for can be used for any situation in the raga and this full of tonal 
what do you call it? Colors. And the bass is on the, on the left. Ta, ti, dom, nam. Like that, no? See the dynamics play. The, as you teach, you can do that. The, with the, how the inflection goes in the voice, you can get the instrument. The flow of the talang, gutari, gita. Sometimes when you sing, uh, the moment takes over. Like you get in, you get into the lyrics so much that uh, I don't exist anymore. I feel a kind of an energy, and then uh, you choke with emotion. You're not able to sing further. Then you stop, and then you continue. <laughs> Tyagaraja Swami once said, Yilagani I cannot describe this to you. Swanu Bhavavedhyame, you have to experience it yourself. The musicians of today also have got that high degree of intellect to take on this challenge. The vocal prowess, virtuosity, in every department you see that is a tremendous improvement when you compare uh, today's artists with uh, the earlier generation of uh, artists. And what with uh, the intellectual capacity of uh, the modern day artists and also their, uh, their, the, the aesthetic apparatus which they have built. I believe that there is indeed a great future for classical Carnatic music.